reasons which I'll come to in a minute and which are uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for coming at such extraordinarily short notice we're having to have this meeting outdoors for reasons which I'll come to in a minute but which are a part of the reason why we believe Rotherham needs respect and respect needs Rotherham. The reason that we're meeting outdoors is because of the political corruption that exists not just here in Rotherham but in many other places and which has cancelled our venue that we booked and contracted to pay for um, but which has been withdrawn from us as a result of skullduggery and dirty tricks, which is part of the reason why there is a by-election in Rotherham in the first place. I can't put this any other way. There is a by-election in Rotherham because your MP was a thief. He was a thief of thousands of pounds of the public's money stolen in a way that would have landed any claimant on social security in prison. He's been allowed to walk away with his pension intact and with all sorts of media and other commentators trying to pour soft soap over what he did. He stole money from the public and thus there is a by-election here. That by-election has been called in record quick time one week ago, your MP left the House of Commons in disgrace as a thief. And three weeks from now, Labour wants you to send another Labour MP to Westminster to reward them, reward them for having foisted a thief upon you as an MP. And we think that you'd be very foolish to do that. We think that you should not reward the political system that has led to you being so woefully mistreated in this way. And the kind of politics that cancels a venue of a party that's standing in an election and causes the cancellation of a, of a democratic meeting in a democratic election is exactly the problem that we have here in Rotherham. I was due to speak here on the 2nd of December. I'm sure I still will be speaking here on the 2nd of December, if God spares me. But what's happened is that we got here sooner than we expected to do. And now we are in a by-election campaign. And by the way, there'll be no more cancellations because the law of the land, the representation of the People's Act, means that Rotherham Council must, by law, make available to us and all other candidates in the election premises owned by the local authority for the purposes of election meetings. So I send that as a first message to the council here. This is the last cancellation you'll ever be responsible for in terms of our political meetings. Now we this morning at our head office in Manchester <coughs> held a selection <coughs> meeting and we chose as our candidate in this by-election a woman that I have known for many years, a good friend of mine who has fought alongside me in elections here in Britain. She stood in the by-election in Leicester in 2004 for respect and polled the highest number of votes any fourth party candidate had in a hundred years getting almost 13 percent of the vote she stood with me in many political battles here in britain she's <coughs> traveled with me to iraq under sanctions she's traveled with me to palestine under occupation she is a comrade of mine in the stop the war coalition one of the leadership of the stop the war coalition which moved millions of people in this country in the great battle that we had to try and stop Britain 
committing the grave offence of invading and occupying Iraq. A war and occupation which, moreover, was supported by your former MP, Dennis McShane, then a Foreign Office Minister and one of the key <laughs> voices in the media and in Parliament in support of that war. Yvonne Ridley comes from the northeast of England, an area almost identical to this. In this respect, the coal mines that were king in her town were closed by Thatcher and thousands of people were thrown onto the scrap heap and many of them have remained there. The steelworks at Consett was closed under Thatcher and thousands of people were thrown onto the scrap heap and many of them have remained there also. She comes from exactly the kind of background that the majority of people in this town come from. She is a Muslim, a sincere, devout Muslim, and that is something that I personally am proud of. But she's not running here as a Muslim. She's running here for respect. For respect for all the communities, wherever they came from, whatever color they are, however they pray. She's standing here to try and bring about a change in this town and its politics and the political culture that exists here. And so we'll be chasing every vote, whomsoever has that vote, we'll be asking them to give it to us. Because we think that Rotherham deserves better, deserves better than a thief as an MP, deserves better than a council that tries to stop other political parties having legitimate political meetings in a by-election campaign. They're running scared of us. That's why they called the election so quickly, when the memories of the people in the town are so fresh about the thief. They would otherwise have left it for months before calling this by-election, hoping that you'd forget about the reasons for the by-election. But you're not going to forget. Nobody has that short a memory. Three weeks. So, we are here to tackle unemployment, poverty, hopelessness, youth unemployment, cuts in public services. This election is not about Iraq. Although she opposed the war on Iraq and McShane and New Labour caused the war on Iraq. This election is not about Palestine. Though she was with Palestine and McShane was a voice of Israel. This is not even about civil liberties. Though last night we were in Bradford for a major event for caged prisoners talking about the destruction of civil liberties in this country under Labour and the Tories and the collusion with torture and extradition and, uh, and the uh, rendition, extraordinary rendition they call it, which means kidnapping people and taking them to be tortured in places like Gaddafi's Libya. It's not about these things, although our record on these things is far, far better than New Labour's. It's about political representation. Does Rotherham deserve to have an MP who's clean, who's not a thief, and who's going to act for the people in Rotherham rather than other people themselves or people in Israel or elsewhere? It's about tackling the critical problems that exist in this town. And so it's my honor, actually, to introduce to you the respect candidate in the Rotherham by-election Yvonne Ridley. Thank you very much for those words, George. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next few weeks to get to meet the people of Rotherham, to listen to what they have to say. Everybody's, you know, is fully aware of the Bradford bounce. Well, uh, let's hope we see the Rotherham revival. Yeah, because, yeah. Um, you know, it's what the people of Rotherham deserve. They deserve some respect following uh, the thieving activities of uh, Dennis McShane. I'm not going to make a whole raft of um, empty promises to 
the people of Rotherham, but what I will say to them is if you do elect me, I will not be taking any personal expenses at all. I think that um, there's been enough um, greed coming from the uh, previous MP and um, I will not, as I say, be taking any expenses at all. I am coming here to very much listen to what the people have to say. George has uh, described the uh, destruction of the mining and the steel industries in Rotherham, the history. That is my DNA. That is my background. I have uh, working class roots and uh, traditionally I was old labour until that party was destroyed uh, by Blair and the likes of McShane. But I still hold true socialist values which are represented in the Respect Party. Now one of the interesting things about having to hold this meeting on the street and uh, I quite like it anyway, being out in, in the street and being able to talk like this. But it's interesting <coughs> that this council acted within 24 hours to try and silence me. And I'm thinking of all the people on the housing waiting lists who had to wait years for Rotherham Council to act. All the people who had complaints about rising damp and repairs that need doing to their homes who've had to wait years. Well, Rotherham Council has shown you today that they can act within hours if they want to. So get on to the council tomorrow and ring them up and let's see some of that um, speed lightning for your housing repairs, your waiting lists and uh, all the other things that you have to, um, account, you know, want to hold the council to account for. I'm here to listen to what you have to tell me and I want to um, hear about uh, your uh, complaints, I want to hear about uh, your feelings, your betrayals, your hopes, your expectations. I'm not going to make empty promises, but I'll tell you something. If you have me in your corner, I promise I will fight and fight and fight for you. I would consider it a great honour and a privilege to work for you, to work for the people of Rotherham. And I promise you I will not be putting my hands in the till. Um, I'm working class, I'm honest, I do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Something totally alien to the Savile Row socialist Dennis, Dennis McShane and, and his ilk. So um, that, that's basically my message. I'm here for you, I'm here to listen, I'm here to...